Okay, so here we have the star field with a black layer above it, and the black layer has been set to screen. Now, the reason that we have to set this to screen is because we're going to put a lens flare on this layer, and the lens flare cannot go onto a blank layer. You have to have some sort of content on the layer. So we don't want the content to show, so we set it to black and change the mode to screen. Now we're going to do filter render lens flare. And you have to just kind of click around wherever you think it's going to look good. Unfortunately, it doesn't show you on here. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Uh, play around with placement. I'm just clicking and dragging. Wherever I click is where it's going to go. Okay, so I'll put one here maybe, and I'm going to reduce my brightness all the way down to 10%. And I'm going to leave this at the first lens type, and I'm going to say okay. What I've done is I've just created a brighter star. Um, you have an option of doing your stars on several layers, or you can do your stars all on one layer. If you do them all in one layer, you can no longer change your placement. So I'm going to do them on individual layers. This is your call. Um, I'm going to create a blank layer, Alt, Backspace, fill it with black, set it to screen, and do filter, render, lens flare. Now you might be tempted to come up here and do the lens flare at the top or Control F, which is a repeat of the last filter you used. The problem is it's going to put it in exactly the same location, which is not what we want to do. So we're going to do a brand new lens flare over again. So it's filter, render, lens flare. And now we're going to choose a different place and we're going to choose one of the different lens types. And you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. And then say OK. And I'm going to do that one more time. Filter, whoops. Got to do the black. Forgot about the black. Alt, backspace. Set it to screen. Filter, render, lens flare. Now, just to balance it out, I'm going to put it like maybe down here somewhere. And I'm going to come down here to the 105 millimeter prime. And I'm actually going to make that be a little bit bigger. So now I've got three stars going on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a planet. That will be the next tutorial.